out here today with the Bobcat E10 Mini Excavator. And today I want to show you the difference between the ISO pattern and the SAE pattern of operating this machine. I recently did a video on how to operate it and I realized I did the whole video in SAE and I never even mentioned ISO so I think I probably managed to confuse a lot of people. So I want to set the record straight today and show you the differences and how to switch between the two patterns. The two patterns are ISO, also known as the CAT pattern, and I think it's the most common for excavators. The other pattern is the SAE pattern, which is Society of Automo Automotive Engineers, and that's also called a backhoe pattern or a John Deere pattern. The only difference is the controlling the stick and the boom. On the ISO pattern, the boom is controlled by the right control stick and on SAE, the boom is controlled by the left and vice versa. The stick on ISO is controlled by the left controller and the stick on SAE is controlled by the right controller. I know it sounds confusing and it is if you try to switch because once you learn the pattern, you learn one or the other, it's very, very difficult to change back and forth. Most people can't do it. I tried, I couldn't do it. I learned in SAE because I originally owned a backhoe and I learned the pattern. So when I got my excavator here, I just switched it over to SAE and I run it like that. I can't run ISO. Once you get that muscle memory uh, ingrained in your brain and your hands, you won't even think about what you're doing anymore. You, it's just like moving your hand or opening your fingers or moving your elbow. You don't have to think about it. You just look at you look at the work that you're doing and if you want to curl the bucket in and pick up the boom your hands just automatically know what to do. I'm going to do a little quick demonstration and show you the uh, pattern in backhoe or SAE which is the one that I like to run. So first of all let's talk about the similarities. This is how you crowd the bucket and uncrowd it. And that's done with the right stick going left to crowd it and, and right to uncrowd it. The other similarity which both patterns have is swinging the upper carriage. Right to swing right, left to swing left. On SAE, this controls the stick movement. So to bring the stick in, you pull the control stick back. To push the stick forward, you, put, you move the control stick forward. To lower the boom, you move the left joystick down. And to lift the boom, you move the left joystick up. Now let's go and switch that uh, valve and see how it is to work in ISO. So as the sticker shows, when the uh, valve bar is horizontal, it's in ASE, or backhoe. When the uh, valve bar is up and down, then it's in ISO. So it, right now it's in SAE, and I'll change it to ISO. Easy as that. Curling the bucket is the same with the right stick, curl and uncurl, but now the right stick controls the boom because we're in ISO. So watch, the boom's gonna come up as I pull back and it's gonna go down as I move the joystick forward. Now on the left controller, uh, the swing is the same. The left controller still controls the swing, but now this is gonna control the stick when we pull back. So watch the stick. When I pull the joystick back, the stick comes back. When I push the joystick forward, the stick moves forward horn's still the same. I said, when you start operating, you choose which pattern you want to learn in and go with that. Um, I think the advantage of the SAE pattern is that you can run either an excavator or a backhoe because if you learn an ISO pattern, all you'll be able to run is excavators. So every modern excavator has that valve that I showed you. So it's very easy to switch back and forth. All right, I hope that clears things up for you. I hope I didn't confuse you too much. If you like this video, give me the big thumbs up and leave a comment. I really like hearing from you guys. I have lots of other videos on the Bobcat 
E10, where I show you how to work the controls, how to expand and retract the tracks, how to change the buckets, and I'll do more videos if I see an interest in this. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope to see you around.